think. Hi, Alina. Do you Hello. hear us? Hi. Hi. Nice to Hi. see you. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. The technical uh, things, uh, oh, <laughs> obviously, at 10 o'clock. <laughs> all good. All is good. So my, my main Hi. questions before before Ali and I will give you a name, uh, like the floor to speak about and ask you some questions. I would like to ask a question for guys. So why you think so why this would be important for people who are listening right now? So where where's the value? I mean, I have a GPS solution, which is working separately. And I have field service management, which is working separately. So why I should consider to like think about integration or mo moving it together. So maybe, Serhi, um, let's start with you. So just like a brief, uh, your idea <laughs> before me, we move on. It's maybe not my idea. It's uh, customer feedback. Uh, and uh, the customer feedback is like this, that if I have one solution and see uh, everything in one solution, it's much, much more convenient than I need to go check uh, multiple solutions to plan task execution. So in this case, if you have, uh, if you're using fleet complete and if you're using front two, this is like very straightforward thing to do, do integration and get benefit from both system systems. Okay. Yeah, my idea is uh, similar. So basically, the uh, today clients uh, probably pay for the both of these uh, services, but uh, maybe they don't maximize uh, the outcome. So this uh, the topic we're talking today about uh, will probably give someone an idea to maximize these two uh, like services and uh, get get the maximum for your money, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. And um, Alina, the same question for you. So just how you think why for the companies it's important to align several uh, solutions to work as one? Do you... Uh... Yeah, well, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I've been uh, through some integrations already in our company. I can, uh, I think, uh, tell about myself as an integration guru already because we had, uh, yeah, several big systems united. And I think uh, this is uh, the way uh, or this is uh, how you can get this broader perspective. This is how you can unify the information. This is how you can uh, get more precise um, reports. From the system and this is how you can uh, control your business i think this is this is a win-win situation for both uh, uh us and uh, and the client okay thank you alina and uh, thank you once again that you find the time to to join us today and uh yes then then we can move on to some questions and uh, probably not only me but also people who are listening now and who will be listening later would like to know maybe a bit more i think the name is not uh, like the company is pretty big, so pretty much a lot of companies know. But if you could do a like short intro, what Civinity Solution is doing, and sure. I suppose you are the person who knows almost everything about a customer service. In <laughs> almost, you cannot know everything about customer service yeah. because it's a very uh, hard topic to tell to to talk about. But uh, but yeah, uh, joke aside. So uh, so yes, uh, I will be telling about uh, Civinity. I will try not to be very boring. So I will just uh, tell uh, a few things which I think are very important for um, for us to 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 understand about us so uh, what we are we are a proactive and customer oriented team of uh, professionals uh, right now we're providing uh, services of um, managing real estate and uh, right now we're working in uh, four directions so civility solutions is only one of them this is a uh, business to business sector we're also doing uh, services for uh, residential we are doing some engineering and uh, we have uh, also elevators uh, as a um, separate um, as a separate company here. So uh, as probably, uh, probably, you know, probably not, but our uh, headquarters is in Vilnius. However, we possess businesses here in Latvia, both in uh, Riga and Jurmala. And um, some engineering, some engineering parts are also in London. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, we uh, in Latvia, we have approximately all in all uh, 27, maybe more, more to 28,000 customers. Uh, and this is private. We also have um, um, a lot of uh, partners uh, for uh, business to business sector. And uh, just to mention some of them, they are all the uh, we have uh, Citadella Bank, we have uh, um, Astromo, Astromo Hospital, we have uh, Rimi uh, and uh, many others. Um, as per my unit, uh, customer support center, obvious, <laughs> we perform continuous in, uh, in the last years also preventive work with customers. And um, as I uh, already told, we have been through some integrations already. Also in my in my, in my units, uh, we integrated some uh, solutions for uh, customer support with uh, some other business business platforms uh, to robotize the processes. Uh, this is uh, very much uh, important for for my unit because uh, it um, well we are skipping a lot of manual work uh, obviously, and uh, we are. Um, working in uh, several communication uh, channels we're working in written we're working in uh, uh, calls we do social media and uh, and these processes need to be um, unified aligned robotized as much as possible uh, just to create a fast solution for our, uh, for our customers and um, as i said uh we are looking forward to continue to to uh do integrations and uh we will be doing it also in the in the next years and um i can say that from two i was testing um, personally me i was testing this solution for residential part of our business but also for um uh, for b2b so for Civility Solutions. And uh, I can say that, um, yeah, we um, we saw this system genuine as a solution for both uh, parts, but we decided to go first uh, with B2B sector because we just needed this, uh, I think very smart and very um, easy solution uh, for us in, in order to simplify uh, our life. And this is, this is what is uh, also very important. <laughs> So, of course, uh, if we're talking about uh, process for this, so, of course, it is um, useful, friendly client uh, and solution, which I really like. I, I adore this uh, thing that uh, clients can um, check the status of uh, works, of tickets, uh, bo like both technicians and, and clients. I just I, I just really, really love this. And uh, of course, it's it's easy. It's easy working with this application. Uh, basically, we got some new people in B2B sector and we didn't need any particular like um, any very deep uh, um, training for the system because it, it's pretty easy. Like you understand it uh, with the same. You come in the system and you understand how you create the ticket, how you like forward the work, the job, the ticket to technicians, etc. Uh, so. Um, um, and, and also then? the also the readiness of uh, cost, like of uh, of your uh, support to to help us because uh, we we had some some sessions uh, obviously before and we we talked uh, talked it through and I think um, you understood like our our need with the same and this is also a benefit when when I'm talking with particularly for me it's very important to on like to have a connection with with the uh, with the um, with the technicians so that uh, so that we understand each other we understand each other needs and um, however uh, for residential part we did not um, we did not um, take this decision to take this uh, application if we're talking about front two and there are several reasons for that also like reasons uh, our reasons and also some external reasons as for example um we did we needed to put in the repeated works for some parts of uh, of, uh, of our business and unfortunately it didn't um at that time it didn't go through maybe yanis uh, uh you can comment comment uh, otherwise whether this is already like fixed because it wasn't maybe you remember we had some uh, some challenges there in the system so uh, and this is the part we we really need we need this repeated uh, repeated wood to put in the repeated works repeated tickets so we don't have to put it a every time for example for clinic services like we just uh, 
put this into the program like for for a month and then i don't care about about the ticket so i just know that in the particular date the ticket will be there and executed uh, so I don't need really to, to follow it. So maybe it's, it's already done, but at that time it was a challenge. So uh, I didn't, I didn't go uh, with it. And um, also, um, nevertheless, very good support from your side. I think that um, we needed to do a pretty big homework from our side. So. Um, you have to be very clear you have to have very clear and precise database for the clients and for the object and um, i believe we do i believe we do have it but uh, at that time it wasn't uh, something was uh, was really missing or something was in 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 maybe bigger mess than it should be so we we, we did a very big homework before we went to front to also with the b2b so in Civinity solutions this this is for sure because i participated also in this data consolidation so it was pretty uh pretty big homework um, I don't know whether it's a minus or plus because I mean um, it's it's a necessary step before you're going to, to the new system to the new solution and further when you're going to the integration I think maybe it's better to do a bigger homework than to have uh, bugs in the system or something is not working uh, afterwards so maybe it's not maybe it's not a minus but it's it it was a challenge it was it was a challenge for us as well so. Um, and uh, of course, you have to understand uh, which type of works will be used. So which type of tickets do you want to have? We also had to provide this and uh, which templates, for example, you need for for a daily routine. So this is this is also uh, this was also um, I think it was good for both sides, like for us and for you to understand what we need. So I think um, I think it's it's uh, it's it's a good one. And um, like. Um, my conclusion from this is that um, you also have to have at least uh, one administrator of the system on uh, the business side. So unfortunately, right now, it's not working like that, that I, I just tell what we need and then I forget it. Maybe this uh, also you can consider or maybe you can yeah, comment on this later. So uh, we, we need to have this one person who is like watching over the system all the time. And uh, I don't know also if it's, a, it's if it's a plus or minus because it's also like um, organize organizes us uh, and like we are all the time in the system and we're all the time like uh, checking what is happening there. Maybe it's good, but um, Sometimes it could be exhausted because, like, we have to follow all the all the time, uh, and and uh, and uh, yeah, so so it's like that. And um, uh, if we're talking about the period of the adoption, which is very important for for me as well, because as I already said, we have adopted and integrated several systems in customer support service. For me, it's very important to do it uh, as um, quick as possible. And I think for front two, it was all in all. <laughs> Uh, one month, one and a half months, uh, with all the homework um, for the adoption. Uh, but to to be very honest, I think that um, for the front you part, I think I would rate it. Uh, I don't know eight from ten because from the solutions and from the easiness, I think this is uh, this is this is a good one. And uh, I also yesterday I checked the uh, um, the reports which you are sending to us every week, which is really great. I, I really I adore them. Uh, I love statistics. This is my thing to do. I love analytics, uh, etc. And I think this is very great because then we can also even the managers, if the, even the top managers could, can follow because they are obviously not in the in the process every day, but they can follow the the progress. They can follow what type of works we have, uh, how many of them we have, uh, what is completed, what is not completed, and and. I think it's great. And uh, if we're talking about this integration with Fleet Complete, I can also say that we were using Fleet Complete before. And this integration we needed for three reasons. Uh, first, we need, uh, of course, we need to understand uh, when doing the, the ticket, when when performing uh, the, 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 the creation of the ticket, we need to understand where the nearest technician is. Um, also, uh, especially when it's an emergency. So we are searching for, for the nearest technician and, and this is an asset if we see, see it with, with the same. Uh, also uh, to rate reactions in regards to SLAs. Uh, 
For example, if we're talking about residential part, we also have this, as I already mentioned, we have these elevators and the SLA there is pretty rough. I think it's 20 minutes from the call. So from, from you begin to create the task. So you really need to understand very fast what the technician is. So this is control. And uh, of course, uh, we need to estimate uh, kilometers done daily by technicians. Uh, this was very important to us because before this integration or before we um, started all this, uh, of course, we had an idea about that, but it was not organized right now. It's pretty much organized. And um, the main, main idea why we need that, and this, I think, um, it's not done completely. It's not like 100% accomplished. Uh, we need this clear report with a match of connect prices, so tariff. Uh, and kilometers and um, we're still working on that uh, and I think that um, this is the part where we still can grow in this integration so we need a clear report about this of course we also need uh, to to organize it uh, from our side maybe I uh, in regards with tariffs and with uh, with with these prices but anyway this is uh, what we need to have we need to have a clear report of that and right now we have um, more or less basic information there but it's like it's it's better it's it's much better but but uh but but also we need this report side to to be 100 percent done uh, or as i love to say like a bit more like 110 percent so so that we have control over everything and um uh, yeah this is the the information which i this is uh, the experience i wanted to 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 tell you about uh, also, we, when we're talking about this front view, if we're talking about how um, user friendly it is, as I mentioned already, it is very much user friendly, which I, uh, which was the part why I didn't, why we didn't take it for the residential part yet, <laughs> is because like you need several applications, like you have application for web and you have application for mobile, and there are two different applications. And uh, our uh, technicians and our work workers, they are like um, sometimes not only technicians are going to objects, um, also house managers are going to objects. And if they have only web application or only mobile application, then we they don't have this opportunity to maybe to log into the web and and uh, and do the, the ticket with the same. Also in my, in my part, because customer support is also the biggest holder of uh, quality control and processes in this uh, enterprise in Civinity Solutions and Civinity uh, Group, uh, we, we also maybe sometimes are going to the objects. So maybe you should uh, think about, I don't know, some joint uh, solution for this, uh, like two different things. Which, uh, which maybe can be uh, can be better in time. Um, otherwise, I think that I told um, most, uh, almost everything about like uh, our experience in Civinity Solutions. But but really, again, we have uh, talked yesterday. Uh, we hold a meeting with uh, Civinity Solutions staff, and uh, they're really happy with uh, with the front two as as a product and um, and uh, this integration in particular. Um, as already mentioned, mentioned me as a manager uh, and also top management, uh, we maybe need clearer and more like consolidate reports uh, from this integration. Uh, this is our expectation, and this is this is the 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 the, the main idea um, of I think every integration. All in all, true, true. Yes, uh, Alina, I appreciate your um, your experience, and I think you did a really good job. And I think uh, Risto and, and Serhi can uh, can now leave. It's all good. <laughs> you described almost everything. I think it's, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, it wasn't. No, no, it, it, <laughs> it wasn't that like that. <laughs> it, it's all good. You did very well, and I would say that I I would put on on top that it's no pluses or minuses. It's your yeah. experience, and and that's why you are here. I mean, uh, that everyone can see. It's it's not prepared the discussion but there is also some things uh, to improve and we should look forward and and that's why we invite you here so mm -hmm. um but thank you for for really nice um, um nice intro uh, about the way how you are doing the business and and so on so now i would like to um give a floor to our product manager from frontu serki and uh, serki is the master of the product and probably knows 
almost everything about the product integration and all that stuff. So, uh, Sergi, I know that you have something to tell about the use case and show also something. So, Sergi, I give the floor to you. Thanks, Yanis, and thanks, Alina, for doing such a great intro uh, about front to and thin complete. So, I will not uh, talk about front to what it is because you mentioned, describe it very, very efficiently. Just I will uh, give you a quick feedback or quick reply to your feedback. So we have uh, implemented periodic tasks with templates, uh, uh, refactor the existing solution, and you just need to check it out and test it out. It, uh, it really enhance uh, re regular task creation for the future for you. And if you will like, we can make you a demo uh, after webinar sometime. Thank you. And great point about reports. I think we will also take a look at up into that, how to improve integration. So, uh, and uh, without further ado, I will just briefly uh, explain uh, about the existing integration between Frontu and uh, uh, Fleet Complete. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, no matter what plan you are using, if you have Fleet Complete, you just need to provide us a API key and we will enable the integration in a matter of uh, minutes or hours. So you don't need to think about any integration projects, costs or something. You just kind of uh, working uh, if you are using both systems. Uh, and what we uh, deliver. So the first thing which is uh, very convenient for the customers. This is possibility to plan the tasks using a front two system and see on the map, not just task requests, tasks or employees, but also it's possibility to uh, see all the vehicles. Um, so in this case, as you see with short print screen, you also can, you, you will be able to see uh, vehicles that are currently in use, they are driving with green color and vehicles that stopped driving in red color. And if, uh, if you will select zoom in, in your system, you will be able to see what in, uh, names of employees for each vehicle and you will see exact location. This is additional benefit for our customers because as you know, uh, GPS is not always reliable. So if, if uh, your employee is somewhere inside the building, GPS uh, have a, can have big error uh, showing you on the map where this employee uh, is located. So the uh, live vehicle location, we are improving visibility of your employees on the map and you will have really um, exact information about their location and you won't need to switch between fleet complete and front two everything in one system so the next uh, feature which also alina mentioned this is uh, travel sheet data automation uh, currently uh, in our system uh, there there are two options how technician could use uh, information about could add information about the travel so this is routes so technician could manually add information about his route and it will be calculated using Google Maps. Or when technician is using status start trip and stop, stop trip, we together with fleet complete integration can provide exact information uh, and exact, exact uh, travel duration and an exact number of kilometers. Because if you, uh, if if we are using just our internal system with Google Maps, you just have estimated route, but you don't have exact route because we don't know if a technician will go with, will drive with that road or with another road. It's just, you know, calculation, the, 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 the fastest routes. And here with this automation, you have exact information, which is important. And then you don't need to ask a technician to fill some additional papers with kilometers or other stuff. So in some cases, we also get feedback from our customers that, you know, way 
had to fill in all the data in the end of the month or end of the week about the traveling to you know see how much kilometers and how much uh, fuel we spent and the front two and fleet complete integration so we have this information or in front two system or in fleet complete system and the next one uh, this is feature that uh, is used in in two use cases so in case if you have some urgent task and you need to see the uh, what employee is nearest to the object so while planning this task in our system in front of you will be able to click a button and check user location very quickly not having to go to the map to other sections just you will have all possible employees and you can make quick decision uh, to plan um, to plan the origin task for the nearest employee another use case here is also what customers are using because some customers uh, that have call centers were planning the tasks for some team lead and then team lead is reassigning task each day and in this case he also can check where his colleagues are situated in the city so to make a better decision and it would be then in the end result it's more efficient time more efficient with kilometers and then better planning for the people who are kind of taking care about the technicians how we work so this is probably three most important cases that are currently implemented in uh, in front of system with integration but also we are talking with fleet complete about expanding this integration and the main idea is uh, about root optimization and here i probably will pass uh, the word for this topic. yes thank you uh, thank you Sergey, for your nice presentation and intros and print screens um i think um, if there will be some questions i think you can uh, people can reach you as well uh, by email or connect us um, to direct some questions. And now, exactly as you mentioned, I would like to give a floor to uh, Fleet Complete Representative Partnership Manager Risto to show us also a bit more about Fleet Complete and uh, integration gain, what we can get from Fleet Complete. Risto, the floor is yours. Yes, thanks. Uh, so, as uh, Sergei mentioned, uh, the uh, like unplanned tasks or or like operational quick movements uh, then i will talk more a bit uh, like this planned like if we have tasks uh, that have designated to us today that we will need to fulfill like tomorrow or, or the day after uh, so uh, the the optimization uh, tool uses uh, basically to cut costs uh, to avoid empty kilometers and to find the fastest route and uh, by that uh, we optimize the uh, usage of our fleets uh, yes uh, who would uh, benefit from it? Uh, basically, all the companies uh, that have a mobile workforce would benefit from the optimization uh, tool. Here we can just see some of the segments that are using it today. Mm, let's move on. Uh, so uh, this is the overview uh, how the root optimization uh, works uh, it uh, it all starts from the task uh, that has uh, been given to the company uh, task in this case is some sort of service that you're providing uh, and it uh, it has an address client information task type uh, whatever input information uh, you would like uh, probably we can use it uh, so then the tasks will be uh, dispensed uh, by the operator in your company. Uh, that, that would be the team lead that Sergi mentioned. Uh, and after that, our tool will, will uh, 
take this information and then analyze the optimal root uh, design for these tasks. After that, uh, the service uh, guy can perform the task and give feedback uh, to the dispatch. Uh, yeah, uh, how does it work? Uh, on this slide, uh, we can see there there is a bunch of different tasks in the greater uh, Tallinn area. Uh, I will uh, show two different uh, versions uh, of uh, of like uh, dispensing tasks. Uh, first, uh, we will. Uh, I have checked uh, thirteen tasks from the unplanned. Uh, task section and just drop them to a designated driver. In this case, we can, like, if, if the task is specific for some kind of uh, worker or, or driver or employee, we can just designate uh, uh, the given tasks to them. Uh, and we will start by clicking the Start Optimization button on the upper right corner and move on. Uh, so here we can see these uh, 13 tasks uh, have been uh, given to me and, uh, and we will start the optimization. Uh, in this case, we will use the advanced filtering uh, and uh, we select uh, these tasks uh, that have my name uh, in front of it. And uh, after that, we pick the drivers. Uh, in this case, uh, since I'm the only one uh, doing the tasks uh, I selected myself and uh, yeah and I added the uh, uh, root start time basically when I start to work and approximate uh, like service time this is the period uh, given to each uh, specific ta task and we can see that the system selected one driver and 13 tasks and have made the optimization and I can apply the results. And this is the outcome. Uh, we can see the route, we can see the tasks uh, and we can basically yeah, start uh, start our work day. And the uh, next uh, version is uh, the same tasks, but uh, I don't want to dispense them to specific driver, it doesn't matter which one of my technicians is performing the task, I will take all these tasks and try to divide them. The process is similar to the previous one, only difference is that we're not filtering anything. So all the tasks, uh, we will pick the drivers. In this case, uh, I picked four of uh, my colleagues and uh, optimization uh, selection says that four drivers were picked and uh, none of the tasks were eliminated. Uh, but uh, in the final part, only two drivers is needed to perform these uh, 76 tasks. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can apply the results and see the two different routes. Uh, one is this uh, light blue and one is darker. And if you can see the, uh, how to say, dispensing of the tasks were unequal, like one of the guys is doing 20 something tasks and the other one has to uh, manage uh, 50 tasks. Uh, this comes uh, from the input data. Uh, basically, I've said to the system that uh, one guy is more capable than the other. And this is uh, why our system uh, calculated it uh, this way. So all the, all the input data is, uh, is optional for every company, uh, what we can use, and uh, this would come from you guys, basically. Okay, thank you, Risto, for, for your nice intro. And uh, I think we still have uh, some time on, um, on this webinar, and uh, this time is specifically meant to be for um, for some questions. So um, those people who are just logged in and uh, you are here, so you are more than welcome to write in the chat some questions. Um, but before there are some questions, let me ask 
you. Uh, so what would be, and, and that's the question for all of you. So what would be the first thing? I mean, I'm, I'm new company. I'm working, um, let's, let's say uh, for Alina, maybe uh, it will be easier. I will, I'm, the, I'm the new company working in facility management and I would like to start digitalization. So I'm at this point using only Excel, don't have any GPS, anything, only the bookkeeping solution. So uh, yeah, what you, do you think would be uh, the best way to start all together uh, like start GPS, start FSM, all that, or or there is some steps from that. So, um, yeah, Risto, maybe. Um, How do you think? I think it depends. Uh, the yeah, I I have to say that yeah, you have to start from the GPS system, uh, <laughs> but overall, uh, like in our case, uh, we have like customers from one car to three hundred uh, vehicles. So the range is uh, quite uh, wide, but but uh, how to say it, the core customer has ten plus vehicles. So this would be, in my case, that you probably can manage ten vehicles uh, in your Excel as well if, if you want to do it. Uh, but uh, ten plus vehicles, uh, I'm guessing uh, the autom automatization of the fleet management uh, would uh, benefit greatly. And also uh, your uh, task management uh, solution, uh, basically the similar. I can provide tasks uh, via e email or phone for my two or three employees, but if I have uh, 10 plus employees, uh, it, uh, it gets out of hand and then some tasks will be lost and uh, undone and the problems will start. True, true. Thank you. Um, yes, exactly. I agree, Risto. I have to start with uh, with GPS, right? Uh, so then, Serhi, what do you think? So what is maybe experience from, from your customers when, when we come, when you come? So do they already have something or what is the way how we start? Most likely, like in current uh, environment, like not using just Excel, it's probably not enough. And our customers, even the smallest one, are, uh, are using testing or even or had had experience with some other solution, ERP ones or accountancy or GPS. Uh, so this is kind of in, in new digital environment or after COVID environment is a must have. Just the question from what to begin, it's uh, like very, very complex question and it could be kind of dissertation one. So fr from my experience, just think about your business outcomes and what is the biggest impact um, and maybe try to prioritize because sometimes the biggest impact uh, have the, the biggest work, maybe something in the middle you will be finding that you know you can start this solution you can start another solution maybe in the beginning they are not integrated but it's good enough to you to get rid of paper and then bit by bit you can think about uh, integrating all the system into one environment and ecosystem because you should keep in mind that it's not about only tools everything is about people and processes as well it's not enough just you know okay we will pick new tool and let's do everyone let's play with that or let's work on that but if you are not talking to people how their processes should change how we should change how we are working actually nothing will be completed and you will just drop out from the tool or just you will say okay it's better how we used to work and let's kind of come back to that. So this is very important. And no matter what type of digital transformation you would like to start, just think about those three things, technology, people, and processes, because it's working only combined. Okay. Yes, uh, Serhi, thanks. thanks for that. And I have one, uh, one question maybe for uh, for Alina to ask as well, Alina, the, the question is like that. So what, what do you think, what would be your suggestion? I mean, uh, Savinity solution is already moving to digitalization and, and you already mentioned that you have uh, 
you probably could write a book how to manage those <laughs> projects and so on. So yeah. uh, my, my question to you is how, um, why Civinity Solution was not afraid to do that? And maybe how you can convince other companies or other people, let's say, don't be afraid, but there is some steps to follow or, or you have to have this one project manager or what would be your suggestions? How do you think? Yeah, thank you. Well, um, first of all, I think that I can uh, associate myself to what uh, Sergei is uh, talking about because um, uh, it was a very nice saying that at the end of the day, you bet on people, not on strategies or on systems. So, of course, you have to you have to have uh, this all in the synergy. And uh, and I also very much liked your question, uh, what you begin with, because in my case, I obviously begin with a CFO uh of the company but uh, but of course this is not uh, this important when you have to when you have to optimize your processes because this is about also also about costs because if you optimize something it's obviously the costs are obviously optimizing uh, themselves as well but um why we weren't afraid uh, um in uh why why we are still not afraid to do more integrations and why we, we we're not afraid to, uh, to do this integration because, um, uh, well, in in our case, uh, this is about uh, this is all about reaction time. Uh, so this is all about customer. And uh, as I uh, also saying to to the board members uh, all the time, I don't know if uh, they are already convinced or not, but uh, customer support should be a strategy of the whole enterprise, and not only the department. So uh, I think in our case, we just needed to uh, we just needed this broader understanding of what we're doing if we're doing it right, if we're doing it for the customer, if we're customer oriented. We also had to secure our SLAs because uh, I already said that some emergencies we just cannot wait. We cannot uh, go to the multiply excels and search for where the technician is. We don't have time to call the technician and uh, to understand where he is. Uh, so basically, we do not have time. I'm an operational person myself, and I know that um, every minute counts. So uh, the, the the most benefit for uh, such integrations uh, uh, of the systems and uh, and uh, for the for the tool for for the um, tools is that uh, you really uh, you you this is the way how you can control your time your business this is the way how you can control your reaction and I think that on the problem I mean and and this is this is this is uh, very important when we are coming to, to the results of the company and I think that uh, any uh, operational person in any company I think will understand what I'm talking about you don't you you simply don't have time to 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 go to to excels um and uh, and you uh you really benefit from this uh, modern solutions and i think this is this is the this is the goal of of uh, of uh, today's era actually true, true alina yes uh, i appreciate thank you very much uh, for your uh, response and uh, uh your experience and that you was uh, ready to share that um i really appreciate that and um, one last, so we have to sum up. I see that we are out of the time. And uh, one final question from me, uh, as I would be just a listener here, I would be interested. So, okay, guys, you showed me, you told me about some things about integration, road optimization. It's all nice. But what if there would be, um, let's say, something I would like to have a deeper integration? Is that even possible or or it's like it is as it is or it's case by case? Uh, so uh, maybe, Sergey, you can um, rely on that. Um, I'm as a product manager, so I'm used to say no or just <laughs> really checking the, the stuff. What could be the most impactful thing? So this is kind of my 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 role here. And I strongly believe in this uh, use case approach. So the group optimization, we also have right now two clients that are really interested to have extended integration. And then when we're talking with customers, we, we can understand deeply their problems. We can understand deeply their needs. And then we can implement the solution from this perspective. The same what, what we did in the beginning, what I showed with us also while talking with our customers, asking their needs, and then, you know, coming up with like simple solutions, how to make it possible. 
that's why I'm strongly believe in this case, like Alina said, okay, we need report and we can dig deeper, understand the need and implement some additional enhancement. So in this case, so this is my approach. Okay. okay. Uh, Risto, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I have to agree since uh, I'm myself in the sales department and pro-client uh, approach, then uh, I have to say that, yeah, everything's possible. But uh, regarding the more complex integration, I have to go to the pro services uh, also in my company and try to convince them as well. But, mm -hmm. uh, but mainly uh, our like, uh, process of developing this company throughout the years have, uh, have shown that uh, nothing's impossible. Okay, that, that, sounds, uh, that sounds very promising as, uh, as a sales guy, you know. <laughs> but the one thing what I, um, from my experience, I could suggest, and I think we started the same way with Alina, um, is for the customers who usually want to build a castle, you always have to start with a, from the basement. So, and, and that's the most important, meaning that uh, what Serhi and, and Risto as well mentioned, and also Alina mentioned, that we have to start from somewhere. We have to start from the like the simplest thing, and then we have, can build anything. I mean, sky, uh, skyscraper or castle or whatever. But if you don't have a basement, that's gonna not work out. So, guys, I want to really, really thank you for today's time and today's webinar. And uh, today with us, we had uh, Frontu Product Manager Serki and uh, Fleet Complete Partnership Manager Risto and as well our a nice guest from Savinity Solution, Alina. Uh, thank you guys thank you. a lot and uh, let's keep in touch and uh, people if, if they want they can find you in LinkedIn, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay, so if there will be any additional questions they can reach you as well by LinkedIn and I wish you have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye. Bye.